Hi, hi fans. Randy Ingersoll here with another Play Hive Like a Champion video. The game that we're going to be reviewing today is a game between me and a relatively new player, Desmond Half-Elf. It's played at Board Game Arena and is always recorded at BoardSpace.net. As a side note, BoardSpace.net is a much better place to play and learn. The game replay is much better. Multiple players can join in a discussion. You can play out what-if scenarios, and as you can see from my videos, you can easily video record games as they play. This demonstrates a skill that a good Hive player needs to learn to become a master, and that is taking a game that seems to be drawn and turning it into a victory. Let's get started and see how the game progresses. Both players open with grasshoppers, followed by queens, in the game, I'm playing black, and so I chose a C opening, which is my usual opening. White played a spider, I played an ant, and when the white spider attacked, I went ahead and placed a second defensive grasshopper. Unexpectedly, white attacked with the queen. This is usually a beginner's mistake, and I probably took my opponent too lightly when this game was played. But as you will soon see, that was a big mistake on my part. I jump out with a grasshopper, my opponent brings in a beetle, and I'm forced to pin it. Of course, I pin it with an elbow pin to stop the placement of a new bug in this spot here. The next trade of ants was definitely in my opponent's favor. And very soon I found myself in a situation with no defensive bugs. A second beetle placement forced my last ant to pin the beetle. It might seem here that the ant game is fairly even. We each have two mobile ants, but in reality I'm losing the ant game big time. Both of my mobile ants are providing vital pins on opposing beetles. Critical that I not release the beetles. As my opponent prepares a pin replacement, this spider comes in with the goal of placing the block, which it does. When he pins my ant, the beetle moves in, and finally I have a defender. At this point, the critical space is this one. I must protect it. With only one grasshopper in reserve, white will have problems filling this final space. I bring in my second beetle, and when it gets pinned, I now have a free ant. An ant that can be used to pin the final grasshopper when it comes in. This move gives me some hope. It frees up the beetle, and rather than mounting the ant, I use the beetle to place a block. When the grasshopper spawns, I have a free ant, which is used to pin the grasshopper. Sacrificing two ants gets a white beetle free. My beetle covers his ant, and now I control the ant game. At this point, I'm reasonably sure I'm not going to lose, but the question is, will I be able to win? My opponent is shut out. And with the final grasshopper placement free in my second beetle, I have two mobile beetles, but winning is not going to be easy. The plan is to use a squeeze to force white to move a bug. But with the two queens kissing, just any bug won't do. It must be this spider or this ant. I finally get his beetle covered. This move releases the white spider. But it doesn't work. The spider comes back. The second attempt works. Freeze the white ant, 
the white ant must move, opening a kill spot next to my queen. This ant move was not best. I pin it. And the white grasshopper. When I release this grasshopper, it's forced to jump in. I cover it with the beetle. Again, he's shut out. The ant comes in to attack. And the black beetle takes the kill shot. And the game ended very quickly. A very tough game. Thanks Desmond Half Elf for a great game. A good instructional game on how to take what looks to be a draw and turn it into a victory. I hope you enjoyed the game. Until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll signing off.